Standing here looking at this view, there is just nothing better, you guys. Mother nature at its finest. Dave did get a ton of shots, also a ton of B-roll. This is a place that is a 10 out of 10 in my book, and I think everyone else would agree. I'm just in awe. Stunning. stayed at the Hyatt for one night. It's right in Old Town. Lots of restaurants, lots of cool places to eat. It's actually right where Camelback Mountain is too. And we had a perfect view outside our hotel room window of that. And there was a beautiful sunrise and a beautiful sunset. That's one of the things about coming out here we've noticed every night and it's, it's getting into late October, but every night we've had a beautiful sunset. You know, there might be no clouds during the day, but as the time goes on, clouds start picking up a little bit and it makes it like a really nice orange red sunset with pink clouds and stuff. We can't wait to go here. Well, there's a couple, few places that we're gonna check out. We don't know where we're gonna go yet, but we will let you know in a few minutes. Sedona is about two hours away from Phoenix, around 95 miles. We will be heading back to Phoenix tonight to fly out. We actually have a red eye around 12 o'clock, super late. Can't wait to get to Sedona, you guys. This place is just super gorgeous, like beyond. The views are amazing. Dave is gonna have a field day taking pictures. I already know it, so we can't wait to get there. Just took a little pit stop to get some gas and fill up and we are here at the Rock Springs Pie Box. This place looks super cute, you guys. They have a ton of pies, also a cafe. We're about to walk in and see what goodies they have. This is White Bear. Apparently, there's a legend about him, and the story is right on the wall behind him. But this bear used to be friends with a guy named Slim way back in the day. When this bear finally died, he was frozen in the winter. A few waitresses picked him up, brought him in, and then before they got him stuffed, they would put him back in the freezer every night, but they would display him during the day. And they swear that there was a pie crumb trail leading to his feet to the freezer every night but that's another story for another time but that is the exact bear that this legend is told about every pie that you can imagine here you guys there's some rhubarb they have apple crumb they have plain apple blueberry pecan peach you name it they have it here everything looks really really good i'm not sure if we're gonna get anything because i think we are gonna eat in sedona but it was really cute just to stop by and see what this place has Fun little pit stop. Dave is actually filling up the car right now and we will be on our way. We're about 60 minutes from Sedona. Such a cute place, you guys. I love supporting local businesses and we highly recommend stopping by if you're on your way to Sedona. We are passing through Prescott National Forest right now, about 30 miles from Sedona. So beautiful, the views are amazing. If we had time, we would definitely be stopping here. There's a ton of bushes and trees and there's a lot of pines once you start getting up into the mountains here. We're about 3,000 or 4,000 feet up and uh, right now we're getting into a really cool view right at Fort Verde State Park. So this is exit 285 yeah. in case you guys are wondering. Yeah, if you have a camera, stop on the side of the road and take some landscapes of this because it is awesome. We are here and it is 
beyond our expectations. This honestly looks like a mini Grand Canyon. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so beautiful. So many scenic views. You can either you can pull off on the side of the road like we did earlier. I snap some really cool pictures. Um, and as you're driving through it, it all just kind of passes you by and you start to see new things in the in the distance too. It's just really gorgeous. There's a lot of stuff here, you guys. You can rent ATVs, you can rent Jeeps, and there's just a ton of restaurants, bars, cute little shops. They have a few spas, hairdressers. Everything you need is on the main drag. They also even have McDonald's, Starbucks, all that good stuff. So I was very surprised to see how populated. I thought there was just gonna be like one little hotel but there's a lot to choose from. Everything that I just talked about is in Uptown Sedona, which is like the old town area, and the main drag is called or is known as 89A. So remember that. Right now I think we're gonna go and take a little drive to the Scenic Byway, which is about six miles away. Really pretty views. I think we can stop there, park the car, and get out and walk around a little bit. We are officially here at our first stop of the day and we are on our feet and out of the car and it is just so gorgeous out, you guys. It's about 72 degrees, the sun is shining, the wind is blowing, and we couldn't ask for a more perfect day here in Sedona. In Phoenix, it is much hotter though, so make note of that. I think in Phoenix right now, it's about 85, 87 degrees. And here in Sedona, like I said, it's about 72 degrees, so much cooler, which we always love. And right now, we're just gonna take a little walk around this little park area. It's actually called Bell Rock Pathway, and it is stunning. So many views around me, and we actually did get a parking pass for only $5, you guys. So very inexpensive. We can park the car all day long. So they have road runners here. Beep, beep. Jackrabbits, mountain lions. Coyotes? Yeah, they have coyotes. Rattlesnakes, which we do not want to come across one of those. I will scream my head off. There are also a ton of bikes on the trails, which is pretty neat if you guys are in Arizona and are driving here to Sedona. From your home, you can just pack your bike on the back of your car and bring it with you. Definitely a really cool way to see Sedona. Also, like I said, you can rent ATVs. You can also rent Jeeps, which I heard are pretty cool. There is a really neat company called Pink Jeeps that I heard is really great. When we come back, we're definitely gonna try that out. And you guys, it's our five year anniversary today. Well, actually it was yesterday, but we're celebrating all week long. I think when we get home, we will be heading out to dinner, but <laughs> the wind is for real! Oh my god! So much sand. Just so happy to be doing this channel with you guys, traveling the world. We just love you so much. And look at Dave's shirt. Yes. The Treventures. But if you guys don't subscribe to our channel, please do so. And also turn on those post notifications so you never miss a brand new video. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. We in the dono. Dono, dono, dono. Hey, you sounded like tool time. Some of the finest mountains you'll ever see. In the dono. How's the hike going, honey? There's a lot of prickly pear cactus around here, and uh, it's a plant in the cactus family. One of these plants is like. I don't know, it looks like an agave tequila plant. It might actually be that. Um, but this one over here has this huge stalk coming out of the center of it. And uh, I don't know if they all turn out that way, maybe just the female ones, but it's really cool. It has these little flowering buds that let out seeds on the end of them. That looks like it's nearing the end of its life. It's a, a little brown. And uh, the other ones look really green. Bell Rock Pathway actually turns into Little Horse Trail? I think they converge at some point. I don't know if they're if they turn into one another. Making our way to the car. That day pass was great, you guys. Like we said, it was only $5 for the entire day, so you can't beat it. And then when you walk up after you park, there's a little Red Rock Scenic Byway map area for you guys. So it tells you all the hiking trails. It also tells you about the wildlife, the rules. safety rules. Yeah. It also tells you to be mindful of the weather, you guys. Temperatures can reach 100 degrees during the day, and then they drop to more than 40 degrees during the night. So such a difference during the day. You obviously need like shorts and a t-shirt, mm -hmm. nighttime. 
We need a bundle up in a sweater. We snuck a mini bottle of Moet in our bag and I think we're gonna toast to our five year anniversary just looking at this stunning view. Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect scene for a perfect anniversary. worth it just walking around I think you could honestly walk for miles if you wanted to you would probably get lost so make sure you know what you're doing if you do come here right now we're headed back to uptown Sedona I think we're gonna check out some restaurants shopping see what drinks they have and just have a fun night took a pit stop at the arts and crafts village and we are here at cream and cake couture this place looks so good you guys like look at this milkshake it reminds us of Hershey a little bit, but even better with all those colors. Yeah. They also do have some amazing cakes that they do for weddings and then some really cute cupcakes. One thing I've really noticed about this specific area of Sedona is there's a lot of different trees. There's a lot of different architecture. There's a lot of different everything, it seems. It's like a very cultured, artistic portion of Sedona itself. And uh, like even some of the trees here, they have sycamores, huge buttonwoods. It kind of brings back that East Coast vibe that we have a little bit, but it also brings that culture and that natural surroundings that you really expect from the West. So very cool combination of stuff. We're gonna head into Cream right now and see what they have to offer. We got two different desserts and this place was actually on Halloween Wars. We love that show on the Food Network. We seriously watch that every single year. So to see a place that's been on it is just awesome. First we went with some ice cream and we did Oreo. We just love cookies and cream. And then we got this signature cactus cupcake which looks so good. It's a white chocolate almond cake. I love almonds so much and the decoration is just so pretty on top. It just has like two little cactuses which is so cute. Or cacti, not cactuses. <laughs> but we can't wait to eat this up so we'll let you know how it is. This is the creamiest cookies and cream we've ever had. So good, you guys. Yeah, the flavor is all there. It's not too rich, not too sugary, kind of light, crunchy. The Oreos are crunchy, they're not soggy. It's like unbelievably good, 100 for chef. Dave actually went back inside and talked to the owner. Her name is Andrea. She's super nice and they actually won Halloween Wars, which is awesome. And we just tasted that ice cream and we know why. This place is definitely a 10 out of 10. If you're here in Sedona, definitely recommend stopping here. We have a little surprise for you guys. I think we're staying, right, hun? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to stay because there's some uh, pretty inclement weather coming across California and it's going to be here when our flight leaves. And also at home there's a nor'easter or some bands of storms rolling through that Crazy. are horrendous. <laughs> and everybody's saying don't fly, don't fly, don't do it. Um, and our flight has been canceled or delayed or one of the two, I forget. Um, but so we're gonna have to figure out plans of what to do tonight. We either may stay in Sedona here or go back to Phoenix. Uh, it's kind of a long drive and mm -hmm. we haven't really seen much of this town here. She's on the phone right now with our rental company <laughs> making sure that we can extend our rental car. If we can't, we'll probably just pay the fee. <laughs> and um, deal with it. And deal with it. <laughs> this place really does have so much. I think it has even more than Banff, honestly, in just one strip. Banff is kind of bigger, it has more ins and outs. This is more of the main strip of if this If you guys area. haven't seen those Banff videos though, we highly recommend checking those out. We will be going back next year for sure, but mm -hmm. there are three videos, and this place definitely reminds us of it. We are going to find a place to eat, sit down, relax, charge our phones, because we were supposed to be at the airport <laughs> um, in about an hour. 
which is not gonna happen. So we're gonna figure all that out and we will see you guys in the next vlog. Love you guys, we'll talk to you soon. Good night, your ventures. Good morning, guys. Surprise, we're back. Yeah, we <laughs> stayed another night and uh, we stayed in Oak Creek. And now we're on our way back to Sedona and going to head to Schneebly Hill Road. Schneebly Hill. Which apparently has some of the best views in all of Sedona. So we're excited to see that. But right now we're driving there and these views yeah. are the best, I think. Yeah. yeah, ever. I don't think we've ever, ever. been anywhere more beautiful. We were actually just talking about Banff and we think we like these views even better than the mountains of Banff, which is so surprising. Yeah. But just this feeling you get here, it's just so ancient feeling. I honestly feel like I'm in like Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Our drive to this place is actually longer than we thought. I think it's about 50 minutes or so. 50 minutes and only 11 miles, but it's windy and beautiful. Apparently the best drive you can take around here, so. We'll see you guys in a few. We are not on the tour yet, but I don't think we're gonna go on the tour because where we are right now, just right at the beginning, is unbelievable. Guys, look at this view behind me. And this right here is like this little precipice. It's like a little cliff down into a ravine. Um, really, really interesting stuff here. I mean, we could do a photo shoot here all day long. So beautiful. Um, I don't know how it could get any better. I heard it was supposed to get better, but this right here is incredible. I mean, you guys would have a field day with a camera or even just taking a couple hours and chilling out, putting down a blanket, having a picnic here. This is unbelievably beautiful. We've never seen anything this gorgeous in our life. This area, you're kind of nestled in between a bunch of mountains. So you're at the low point in between them all. Lots of prickly pear cactus, a um, bunch of trees, vegetation. We saw a bluebird earlier. Not too much ground animals yet. We haven't seen any of those other than those flying grasshoppers. But um, it's just really cool. So quiet. You, know, you get the occasional helicopter tour go by or, or one of the tour buses or tour um, cars go by. Other than that, it's serene. This place is magical, guys. Luckily for me, one of the tours just went by, and this is the Coconino National Forest, which is kind of like an island in Sedona. So if you ever get a chance, come out to Coconino. It is beautiful. We are back in Uptown and we're gonna do a little bit of shopping before heading to the airport. We have about an hour to kill. I am very eager to see if we're gonna get a flight home. That's gonna be interesting, but a lot of great stores here in Uptown. We're definitely gonna bring home some souvenirs, so let's see what they have. Shopping away, Dave bought some really cool things and I just got some bath salts <laughs> for the bath. We didn't eat them yet. <laughs> so many great stores, you guys. I wish we had more time. What did you get, hun? I got three uh, stones that are carved in like a uh, pier, not pyramid, but like a, a tall tower, like, I don't know what you call it. It's awesome. <laughs> so I think we're gonna walk around a little bit more. There's a boutique right across the street with some really pretty sweaters. Also a lot of food here, you guys. A lot of places to grab drinks, a lot of ice cream shops. Yeah. We've been tempted, but we didn't cave yet. <laughs> they have they have everything. Yeah. And a lot of yeah. A lot of the uh, the shops here and the artwork is is very similar. It's very western and uh, Native American driven. So we're gonna shop around for about 20 more minutes and then we're headed back to Phoenix. Thanks for traveling along with us guys. We love you so much and we'll see you in our next one. Good night, Tarantulas.